So you've got a guy who keeps coming in and out of your life, he promises the world, but then never quite fulfills. How do you end this toxic cycle and how do you know if he's wasting your time? I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn and in this short video, I'm gonna be giving you eight signs that he is wasting your time and now is the right time to get out for good. But before I begin, if you are in a toxic cycle right now or you've escaped one recently, please leave a comment below and share with our community so that other women can also learn from your experiences. And I think we've all been there when we've met someone, they seemed amazing. We have such a strong connection with them physically and emotionally, but then it's like they're never quite in the right place to actually give you the kind of relationship that you want. And you're constantly being strung along, sort of focusing on how amazing things could be rather than the day-to-day -day reality of the relationship. But it's so hard if someone is halfway promising you the world to be able to let go of such a strong connection, especially when the other guys you've been meeting recently just aren't really doing it for you and you're not connecting with them in the same way. I hope by going through the eight signs he's wasting your time in this video, it's gonna give you a bit of clarity and conviction to draw the line under this one if it's the right thing for you to do. The first major sign he's wasting your time, or rather you might be wasting your time, sorry, I know that's a kind of a brutal thing to say, is when he's explicitly told you he's not looking for a relationship Relationship or he's not ready for a relationship or he sees himself as a single guy. This is a case of where he's clearly communicated to you, hey, this is what I've got to offer you and it's your job to listen. Now that not to say this can't get seriously emotionally confusing because you know what, if you're being physically intimate, he's messaging you every day, you're going out on dates, even though he said he doesn't want a relationship, it can really start to feel like a relationship and that can really confuse you. But if he said it once, it's really important to listen to him and take him at his word that that is all he's able to offer you. The second sign that he's wasting your time, and hopefully if you've been here once, you don't need to go through the cycle again, is when he rushes in, comes on really strong, and then starts to cool off. And then suddenly he goes from wanting to see you all the time to being a bit flaky to outright dumping you or disappearing. Like this is a horrible cycle to be through once, don't let it happen again. Also be very wary of someone who comes on that strong, that fast. It can feel so validating because it can be like, oh wow, you know, here's someone who's really sweeping me off my feet. But when someone does that, they haven't really got to know who you are as a person. So perhaps their desire to sweep you off your feet or to rush into your life has a lot more to do with them than it does about your connection. Sign three is when he says that he's working on himself, but he's still got a lot of work to do. Again, this comes down to really listening to him. It's not your job to help him figure himself out or repair himself to a point where he's able to have a relationship with you. In fact, ideally, you should kind of look out for people who have done the work already and are showing up, engaging with you from day one, ready to have the kind of relationship you want. Sign four is he talks all these amazing things about the future, but then actually you can't really do anything in the present day. So he's like, oh, wouldn't it be amazing? We could go traveling together one day. He might even talk to you about having children together, but then actually when push comes to shove, he's not even ready to make this a committed relationship. Be cautious of people who talk a lot about potential future plans, but aren't able to make any concrete promises or commitments to you within the present. My fifth sign is that he keeps a relationship status unclear. He never actually refers to you as his girlfriend. And when you try and bring up the what is this conversation, he shifts around, he changes the topic, he dodges that question. Again, this lack of clarity is gonna feel so destabilizing for you. It's just gonna make you really anxious. So avoid relationships where there is a lack of clarity, unless that's something that you actively want in your life. Now, if you want to embody more of this confident attitude towards dating and relationships and to go about dating in a way that preserves your self-esteem, please head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash real love and you can get some more of my advice by enrolling in my free online mini course there. Sign six is that he blames external factors for why he can't be the person you want to be right now. It's because his ex treated him badly or he's got a lot going on with his work right now. 
it takes accountability and a certain degree of responsibility just to hold your hands up and say, you know what, like, I really like you, I'm really attracted to you, but I'm not able to give you that level of relationship that you want right now. If he's saying, oh, I'd like to, but, you know, there's this thing, again, a little bit of a red flag there because he's even not being accountable that it comes down to him, like the buck stops with him. It's not about his ex-girlfriend, it's about him and where he's at at his life right now. Sign seven is when he talks about the future equally to his plan sounds surprisingly not relationship orientated. Is he really excited about going and spending New Year's Eve in Tulum with his buddies? Is he talking about going backpacking around the world? Is he talking about how he really desperately wants to apply and get a job in a different country? Just again, this comes down to listening, right? This guy doesn't seem to be communicating that he's in the space in his life right now to be able to want that kind of like serious, stable, committed relationship. And instead of making it about the fact that, you know, you're not good enough or not attractive enough, or if you were this different woman, he'd suddenly change his whole perspective on life, simply accept that this is his focus right now and he's allowed to have that focus, but if it doesn't line up with what you want, you gotta let it go. My final sign and probably like the worst one actually, is he keeps coming in and out of your life, but is totally unaccountable about that. He thinks it's okay to dump you one day, disappear for three months, and then just casually send you a message or turn up on your doorstep the next without any explanation or any apology or any understanding that that is not cool. So if he keeps coming in and out of your life and seems to think it's totally okay to re-engage with you and just start things back up as normal, even if you broke off in a really traumatic and difficult way, massive red flag here. This guy is not only wasting your time, but this is a sign of a really toxic relationship which is gonna run down your self-esteem. Please trust in the fact there's gonna be people out there who you can experience a really strong emotional and physical connection to who will also treat you with respect and be consistent in terms of what they're able to offer you in their life. So don't get caught up on scarcity and think that this is the only guy out there. Instead, cut your losses of this time waster and go and find someone who can actually give you what you want. 